Hello, sweetie. So today I have another wish haul and this one I am super excited for. So these are things I would consider character enhancers for your LARP. So things that just give your character a little bit of flavor outside of accessories and clothing and things like that. So I went a little ham and got some pretty cool stuff. So let's dig in. Hopefully it is as good as it looked in the photos. <laughs> it always is, right, on Wish? That's why you're here to see this. Um, oh, a journal. So I did use a coupon with this. As always, coupon is in the description if you need one. Uh, it, it took two weeks to get here and it was $2.50 with my discount. And it was meant to be a leather journal. Oh, which it kind of looks like a faux leather. It actually looks pretty leathery. So it has the compass rose. North, east, southwest. Hey, they've got them in the right order. That's a good start. You can be surprised with some of these things. So it does have a slightly nautical feel to it. It has the leather going up the side and a little, looks like the steering goodness there from a ship. Um, stop itching your nose, Tamara. Okay, um, and I did get it in the light brown so you could actually see the embossing and that's actually stamped on there. So I thought it'd be painted on because a lot of the time they show them as being embossed. But they aren't, but that actually has some depth to it. Oh, pleasantly surprised. And then unwrap. Now inside, the paper is actually pretty good. Oh, it even has, has a little anchor. Oh my gosh, okay, so the anchor, you actually anchor to one of these and that can hold your place. How cute. Okay, that anchor is really nice. They're actually little metal ones. Oh. Now, the only downside is it is ringed, but I did know that. There were photos showing me that it was ringed. Um, but the paper actually looks quite nice. Like, it looks kind of like aged parchment. I would just be careful if you're using them for anything to really tear around the edge so you don't see the holes because that's your lack of immersion there. But I like that you can kind of, like, hook on, like, that's my spot, and then wrap it up. Oh, I recommend that one. Yes. That is money well spent right there, folks. Okay, what is this one? Oh, this is a roll-up bag. So it was two and a half weeks to get here, and it was $2.50. Now, these, they had them for, like, you could do pens, pencils, makeup brushes. Um, I was thinking a quill might go okay. Oh, that doesn't. Okay, it's meant to be leather. Is that? Oh, that's the inside. Okay, the inside is, like, a very non-leathery material. Um... Very soft, it does have the little pouches there, three little pouches, uh, like a suede sort of material, which I don't hate. Ah, oh, okay, so it does have a little metal and it says EN50 francs, 1842. So you might wanna replace that if that doesn't fit in too well with your thing. Oh, can you, you can't put, don't put in there. It goes all the way through. Okay, the other weird thing is it's like a, like a pirate looking map or some sort of map, but it only goes halfway. And I think that's because you roll it up from this side and then you won't see that, right? You're only going to see that it looks like a rolled up map, which hopefully you can see. Um, it's not as easy to see as in the photos. So some of it, like up at the top, it looks like they've used some black, so you can see it pretty well, but then this bit, they haven't stamped it quite as well. But it is actually stamped in there. I'll say that. It is not leather. This is 100% not leather. And it looks like not leather. I don't know if you can really tell. But it's very like splotchy. Making you think it's leather. But the pattern's too consistent. This one. Um, we'll see. I actually have. We'll do this. And see how it fits in there. And how it looks. So this one um, is a glass pen. And it was $2.50 and took three weeks. There are more expensive ones, but I went with one of the cheaper ones. Oh, it's coming a toothbrush holder. Hopefully it's not a toothbrush. I haven't checked. This is a toothbrush. <laughs> it would be pretty funny though. Okay. Oh, nope, and it's bubble wrapped in it. So they've wrapped it really nicely. Nope, it's there. Ooh. It's actually glass. Ooh. 
Look how pretty she is. Now I did not order orange. I know I did not order orange and it's got orange on it. So that's a thing. So you dip that in ink and you're meant to be able to draw with it. This one didn't come with ink, but something else in here did. So I thought I wouldn't pay more for one with ink if I've already got one ink so I can try it out. Um, so I'm gonna try putting this in here, but I actually would say it's probably good to put it back in the bubble wrap or something. I'm gonna slide it in there so it fits really nicely in there. And this is a little padded. So look, it does what it's meant to and that'll give it some padding. I still wouldn't bend it, but yeah, that's all right. That is not bad. I like that glass pen. So this took three weeks and was $2 and it was smoke. So, Hell's Smoke, five sheets, and the instructions are not in English. So I'm gonna have to Google how to do this and I'll put a little box to show you if it worked. But you're meant to be able to, I think like snap and have smoke come up. I don't know, I'll try a little thing. I'm worried. See my funny face. How do you rub it together? No, do you rub it together the other way? I'm making a mess. Oh gosh, that doesn't rub. You just rub in general. A little dust is going up, but no, okay. I'll work out how that works and I'll come back to you. If it works, I thought it'd be pretty cool if you had like a magical sort of character and you could have smoke coming from your fingers. It doesn't really smell too much like anything, um, but five sheets for two bucks. If it works and you can cut up into little things and have in a pouch, then it'd be worth it. Okay, on to our final two things. And these are big things. Ah, okay, I went a little big. So four weeks to get here and it's a quill set, guys. Imagine sitting there in the tavern on a log, scrolling away with your proper quill set. $9 with the discount. And I haven't even, oh, oh my God. Oh, hello, beautiful. Okay, that's actually really nice. That is really, really nice. I am so happy with that, as long as it's an actual feather. So it's meant to be like a set in a box, but they've obviously put that bit out and I'm hoping the ink is in here. How do you even? Oh, it's from the top, of course, you silly goose. So they've got all this packaging for that. So I think this is meant to go in here. Um, and it says the feather pen ink. Oof. And it's, it's double sealed, so I like that because I'm, I feel like this is a very bad idea. Yep, it is black ink. So that's, yeah, I got a little bit on my finger there for you. Huh. Okay, ink is ink, that's good. I don't, I would probably do some, I'll probably do something to the bottle for that one. And there she is. You are so beautiful to me. They have a whole bunch of quill sets. I'm just gonna tell you this, some have different um, little quills. This looks like it comes off. You can just kind of put it in there a little better. So this one only has one. And it has that little, oh, it's an actual feather and it's cut so beautifully. Okay, I am so happy with that. I am so, hopefully it writes okay. I'll test it out. I will test that baby out. Try to stop me. Um, it does have a little weird thing on the design there. I don't know if you can tell, it's just like a little nub of extra metal. Um, and it's just glued on. It looks like it's super glued on. So maybe be mindful, be gentle with your feather. So this last thing I'm actually really excited about, um, it is for contact juggling and they had it on there. So it's an acrylic ball, $6.50, took two and a half weeks. Now I haven't unwrapped it yet, but I did look up um, on the YouTubes um, some pretty 
like extensive how to know if it is a good contact juggling thing. If you're looking at me like I'm crazy contact juggling, think of David Bowie in the labyrinth, how he's got the thing, right? I thought it'd be so cool to have as a cool thing for your character to be doing. So all of these things are meant to add a little bit of flavor as you're LARPing, something for your character to be doing or having on their person that makes them feel more like a person. That's the whole idea behind this one. Um, so no seam line, like if there's any sort of um, markings on it, then it loses the illusion. Um, and they said a good weight, oh, that has a good weight. And they want it, they say very clear, because again, if it's got marked points, then you're kind of out. So it's packaged. And they've just like put cling wrap on it. Okay, okay. Oh, it looks really good. Oh. And it's a good size, so I did check the measurement on this one. And this is what they say you should start with. I can't do anything. So you do it like, ooh, to practice doing that so that you can eventually do that. It rolls pretty well. And then like keeping, I don't know how to do it. I don't think I'll make videos of me learning how to do it because I think I'm going to be pretty rubbish at it, but it'll be really fun. And I have a couple friends that do contact juggling, so they'll hopefully teach me some cool stuff. Or I'll use Google. To the Google! Or I'll use YouTube. What a shocker. I believe in in YouTube. Oh my god, I'm so happy with that. Now I don't know how expensive they normally are. That might be an okay price. It might be a great price. But I just saw them and I was like, get in my cart. Oh! This set of stuff was really good, guys! There's nothing in here, other than that kind of roll-up thing I'm not a big fan of, and the glass quill being orange, um, which I definitely did not pick, but, um, yeah. Yeah. I think, you know, if you're needing a little something extra, even if you give yourself a budget of 20 bucks, if it's your first order and you can use the discount code, it's pretty darn good. So, yeah. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this. If there's something else you've been wondering about on Wish and you'd like me to review for you, just pop it below in the comments and I'll see what I can do. And as always, don't forget to subscribe or if you're already subscribed, I love you. And don't forget to hit the bell icon so you actually get notifications when I post and you just keep being your weird and wonderful self and I will see you so soon. Thanks again, guys.